Good morning, everyone. Beth here from Quarter Piece Studio. Welcome to my channel. I'm thrilled that you're here. If you're coming back, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to Corner Piece Studio. Please like and subscribe my watermark down below if you like what you see and you would like to see some more content that comes up. Um, today, I wanted to show you something really fun that I found at uh, Walmart this weekend. I was walking past an aisle. I just happened to look down the aisle and hanging on one of those plastic strips in the middle of the aisle was these. These are called Beauty Tool Organizers. I saw brushes and I thought, oh yes, brushes. So I got two of them. I want to organize my I want to organize my water brushes and my my watercolor brushes and my acrylic brushes and my utility brushes. Just want to go take them from I'm gonna have to lay them down. Take them from this to something a little more usable and maybe decorative too and put them in this. This one's gonna be for my watercolor brushes and this one is going to be for my acrylic brushes and other brushes. Let me cut this open. I am excited today. This is my first video that I'm doing in my new studio. I'm I relocated it within the house and I have to size down unfortunately but um, I have an awesome new um, wall unit that my husband found for me on marketplace and it is perfect for holding all my supplies I'll, I will show that to you in the end so let me stand all these brushes back up again So that, may, that meant a major overhaul. So it's still in the process, but my workspace is available. Let me, let me, um, let's see if I can zoom out. Let's see if I can zoom out. I'm trying, nope, it's not happening. Okay. Something's different about it today. Let me just give you a little ride around my space here. It is so nice and clear and spacious. Yeah, I know it doesn't stay that way for long, but it is right now. And that's what's exciting. Okay, so I want to take this one. And I want to put my watercolor brushes in. No particular order or rhyme or reason for any of it. I'm just going to put my brushes in. Look at that. They they just stay so nicely and I can turn it. I'm sorry, I knocked you. I knocked the one. So I can turn it. Let's take this one out. And put this over here. Well, yeah, I'm kind of organizing by the um, brush handles. Let me show you. Here are some purple brush handles with a grip, and here are some blue ones without. So at the moment, I'm organizing that way, seeing how, how it all works. Because there's... I use them for all different reasons, ways and reasons that I will use use them. So, and then the ones in the middle are going to be these. 
clear ones. These are Royal and Lang Langnickel ones. Those I like the best. And my next favorite are these purple ones, which are Crafter's Choice. They are also a Royal and Langnickel. They're from um, Michael's. So let's see. And these are Art Artist Loft, and they're also from Michael's. They're just a little cheaper um, quality, that's all. So let's see here. And then this little red one, I have Dimensions. That's from, I don't know where that one came from. That's just a little oddball out here somewhere, so I'm going to put him over here. So those are those, and here's one more. I can spread them out a little bit. They can be spread out. To make them a little more visible and usable. And I think they make a look really pretty on your desk too, or your work table, workspace, or or on the shelf. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And this one is another little let's spread you out. Oh, you're too close. So there is the one for my watercolor brushes. Look at that. And that looks pretty. It'll, I can set it over here on the table. Let's go for a little ride. I can show it to you. And it's just sitting there. And I can just reach for what I need. And that's that. So I will do the same with this. Um, I'm going to pause you because I want to show my new wall unit to you. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to put you on pause so I can take you off the stand. All right, there it is. I'm trying to get the whole thing in. It's a three-piece wall unit. It's floor to ceiling. It measures like 96 inches long. This is my stampers and paint section my watercolors on the left my acrylics are going to be on the right i got to find them in the other closet oh i got my stickers then there's doors there's doors and drawers in it and one other cool thing about this one not that i'm really going to use it there's a light inside. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a Thomasville piece that we got for a dirt cheap on uh, Marketplace. The Fit family was just looking to get rid of it. And this is, oops, sorry, here's the center cabinet. These are all journals I have made. Let me see if I can zoom out a little. These are all journals I have made. And these are things I'm working in. And there's, um, there's a little, there's a little, like a, a desk area in there. And a drawer above the desk area. And that holds all my punches. It's going to have other stuff in there too. I just, I'm not totally done and ready to and have everything filled just about but not quite and here's all my uh, papers my my painting papers my pa paper pads those are the paper ones those are the cardstock ones so it's just oh my goodness i'm loving this so much this is not totally finished over here. Here's another cabinet that has my glue booking stuff in it, my 
crochet and knit patterns, my music for my ukulele. Um, there's also my tangling and doodling books and more, more cabinets and drawers. So this is awesome. If you, I highly recommend if you are able to find something, some sort of a long unit, it really helps with your storage. It's amazing. And up top, I even had space up top to put some boxes. Those boxes, most of them are about four inches tall. The rainbow one is obviously like six or seven inches high. But um, yeah. I have a little storage on top, so I'm utilizing every little bit of it, even a little spot on the end for larger papers. So, what I would like to do is, I'm going to put you back on. Okay, I put you back on pause, because I wanted to you to see my main reason for coming on was for these brushes. I will work on this one later to organize it. And I may add a few others to this because um, it depends on how much space I have in the other one. So for now, you all have an awesome, awesome day. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. I will be back again to show you what my next project excuse me, to show you my next project. Um, I'm going to create journals from some Bombsy Twin books. So, for now, have a great Monday, and I will talk with you later. And thank you for being here. Bye for now.